tomorrow is state quarterfinal Saturday in high school football. Washington faces a very athletic Crete Monee team, a team that knocked the Panthers out of the playoffs back in 2018. A Panthers win puts them in the Class 6A Final Four. Uh, 10 wins, you get to 10 wins, that's pretty special out of our grouping too. So it's, it's a big motivation week and you're getting compared again. You lost these guys in 18, are you better than our 18 team? You know, and we'll find out. I think we have a really good chance. I mean, we've been playing at a really good level ever since uh, week four, I want to say. So, I mean, as long as we keep playing as we've been playing, I think we'll have a pretty good chance of making it. That's a 1.30 kickoff in Washington tomorrow afternoon. Morton has a Class 5A state quarterfinal game with unbeaten Muhammad Seymour at Carper Field. The Potters are coming off that upset of top seed Morris on the road last week and have lots of momentum. That game against Morris, that was, that was a big confidence booster, but, you know, we got to stay humble. We got to show up every game like it's uh, our last and just play to the last minute. We pretty much reached all of our goals as a team so far this year. Um, you know, we wanted to win the conference and make some noise in the playoffs. I'd say it's safe to say we've done that. And uh, But at the same time, we're not satisfied. If, if we're going to play a team that's, uh, you know, we feel like we can beat, we're obviously going to try to, you know, show up and play our best game. 1 o'clock Saturday, the kickoff for Morton's home playoff game. And what a matchup in the Class 2A state quarters. 11-0 Prairie Land Conference champion Farmington travels to 11-0 Heart of Illinois Conference champ Tri-Valley. A couple of small school heavy hitters going head-to-head -head in the playoffs tomorrow. I think, it's, I think we match up pretty well uh, skill-wise. Uh, their line's big, uh, physical, so that's a little scary, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be awesome. you got everybody cheering for us in the back. You know, you're always a little bit nervous, but you got to have the confidence to go in this game, and, you know, we're all fired up and ready to go. You know, I think we feel good. We obviously know that we're, you know, we're in for a, a very tough one coming up, but, uh, but I think we feel good about where we're at. Another playoff game, and that's, that, that's special, so. Yeah, this is a game I'm probably most excited for. Uh, not just that it's a quarterfinal game, but another team that is as high up in the rankings as us. So this, uh, this should be fun. One o'clock kickoff in Downs for that showdown tomorrow. And the area playoff Cinderella is still alive. Ridgeview Lexington won just two of its first six games, but is now on a five game winning streak as it hosts 10 and one, Abbey and Avon in a playoff game tomorrow. None of us want it to end now. I mean, this has been a magical run and it's so fun. I've said from the beginning we had a great bunch of guys and they're fun to come out to practice with every day. They work hard. They do everything I ask them to do and we just keep getting better. It means, I think, the world to the seniors that we just continue to win and continue to impress everyone that's watching us. It feels incredible that we're on an all-time high right now winning five games in a row. Hopefully we can continue that. That is a 1 o'clock kickoff in Colfax tomorrow.